We're happy to bring back our Where You Live segment featuring the people and the places that make Hawaii so unique. Yeah, we got a great response and some great ideas from viewers and Facebook friends, so let's do it again. Tonight, we're heading to a small town halfway between Kailua Kona and Hilo at high elevation. Last census count, just over 7,000 people living there, 2,500 feet up. I really wanted this assignment because it's a place that I love. It's where I went to school, and tonight, we visit Waimea on the Big Island. Nestled between the electric green hills of Kohala and the breathtaking summit of Mauna Kea sits Waimea. It's a country town with ranching at its core. A lot of people would say Waimea is Parker Ranch. Without, without Parker Ranch, there would be no Waimea. Parker Ranch started small, a two-acre purchase in the early 1800s by John Palmer Parker, a man from Massachusetts. He was a smart guy. He married the granddaughter of the king. Because she was a li'i, he got 600 acres and then another 1,000 acres because of her li'i status. And then from that, they were actually able to grow their ranch. To call Parker Ranch enormous is a bit of an understatement. It is the fourth largest landholder in the state. Only the federal government, the state itself, and Kamehameha schools own more. At over 130,000 acres, it's one of the largest privately owned ranches in the world. From one end of the horizon of Mauna Kea to the other end of the horizon, that is Parker Ranch. <laughs> On those hills, then and now, roam cattle. They were like a present to the Hawaiian people, and um, cattle been roaming these lands forever. Jesse Ho'opai and Scott Spence's fathers and grandfathers were Parker Ranch cowboys. Now they too carry on that tradition. Hey, KK. You know, to, to something to keep going, um, keep perpetuating this cowboy lifestyle, this uniqueness in Hawaii. You feel like you have purpose, you know. It's not. It's not like you, you go to work, you get there at 8.59 because you start at 9 and you're leaving by 4.50 because you don't want to be there. So here's, you actually really do look forward to going to work. But the cattle and the Hawaiians didn't always live in harmony. The animals ran rampant, damaging farms. Around 1830, Kamehameha III crafted a solution. They'd seen how the Mexicans were managing their cattle. Rather than just slaughtering them, they were actually ranching so they could perpetually have finances from this operation. So they thought, why don't we do that here in Hawaii? And so he brought the vaqueros here. Hey, baby. Soon the Hawaiians learned how to be cowboys, and the Paniolo, the Hawaiianized pronunciation of Espanol, was born. It's using a technology where we can look at the center of our galaxy and remove the distortions. Parker Ranch also helped to bring in one of the most modern aspects of this community, the Keck Observatory. Twenty years ago, Parker gave Keck the land, and from there... We are the most scientifically productive telescopes on Earth, period. Yeah, we have arugula on the second shelf. Still, it's the legacy of farming in Waimea that runs deep. If you study the history of this place, um, this is the breadbasket of the state. And at one time, a lot of the agriculture that went uh, on in the state, the products came from this, from this place. It's, it's an open pollinated broccoli. Chinese like to peel it. Steam it. Homesteaders, many of whom farm and sell their harvest every Saturday, are a vibrant part of this community. They're a voice for maintaining this place and the character of this place, you know, maintaining open space, maintaining a, a, a family lifestyle that uh, thrives on um, being able to take resources from the ground or from the forest or from the ocean. And that's what makes our life interesting here. What also makes life interesting here is the weather. Unlike much of Hawaii, it's cold. On most days by noon, the fog rolls in, blanketing Waimea in a cool, damp mist. When we have a, a bout of bad weather and, we, and we can, the rain is high, we'll walk around and we'll say, that's snow on the mountain rain. That's the rain that's going to make snow on the mountain. And when the, when the clouds finally part and we see the snow up there, you know, everybody is really happy. 
Everybody was really happy when we were there. It was so beautiful to see. And of course, the word Waimea, it means reddish water. We've got Waimea here mm -hmm. on Oahu. We also have Waimea Valley on Kauai. But Waimea has three streams that flow through that area on the Big Island. When it comes to the name, we often hear Waimea and we hear Kamuela, and we mm -hmm. hear those used interchangeably. So which is it? We get to the bottom of that. There's a really interesting story behind it. We're not going to tell you now. You've got to tune in tomorrow to hear that on KITV4 Morning News. Well, thanks for taking us there because I love Waimea. So beautiful. Oh. Such a nice time over there. And thanks to all the folks that we spent some time with.